Il Gio de la Danza by Leo Brower, first movement. Technical. On the musical side, I would like to get a little bit more contrasting uh, ambient between the you know soft dynamics and what he's trying to create there uh, versus this part that, that they are indicated with staccato and forte subito, right, and fortissimo, and then in allegro moderato. There, there's different energy. There's different um, how do you say it? different emotional content mm -hmm. that has to be you know more more present there. Uh, in order to do that, we have to have a good enough technique that will support that. So, the, you know, technical issues have to be resolved as well. What I'm seeing uh, in, in, in terms of technique that you're playing, as I mentioned yesterday, teaching as well, again, left hand is far away from, from the fretboard. The, 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 the hand is <laughs> turned sort of outwards. Which, if you think, this would be a very natural position to put our hand, if, you, if, if, you, if, if, it, if it's staying down low and you just bring it up, this is how the hand wants to stay. However, it's not an adequate position for, for playing the guitar because it makes all these fingers farther away than, than the first one. So you have to bring your elbow closer into the body, close it in, not so much, just that, so that these would come closer. So put your fingers on the fifth, sorry, on the first string, fifth, uh, fifth position, that's right. Now, what I want to get 
is not that they are extending to reach the roof. They, they curve. So bring them like this. So keep the palm close to the, to the, to the fretboard. That's it. We then spread them out, fan them out. When you fan them out, don't fan them out like this. Fan them out like this. Horizontal, not vertical. Bring the thumb back, that's it. Relax a little bit everything. A little bit closer up. This is where I want you. So that when you are playing passages that, that, that need a... With whatever fingers, if, even if it's uh, what you have after... And then everything is closed, even for the, for the third and the fourth. Otherwise, they're flying too much away, right? So, that's the basic position. As I said, I'll give the exercises for that as well. Right hand, sort of the same uh, um, issue of, 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 of aligning it. So what I want, first of all, is that you put your right arm a little bit more like that. Lower your shoulder, put let the guitar drop a little bit more like this. Like now, put all this on the first four strings. First four, we can leave this one because we will discuss now just the right hand. Leave this away. Okay, as you're playing, try to minimize the motion of, of the fingers. The, walk, the, the exercises for that would be to play everything as much as staccato as you can. So try just with the thumb. Good, keep playing. Elevate the wrist tiny a little bit more. Nails is a little bit too short because it's not reaching the string, you see? That's, that's it, very good motion. Now play it without staccato. But that you have that small sort of elliptical motion, not like that's it. excellent with the eye finger. But first, first try. Now actually, you can do this. Look, four staccato notes, four squats. Not that they go sort of like all over the place. M. Yeah, very nice kind. A. That's it. Now try to play them all together. Just put it, no, 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 put the thumb a little bit in front, so otherwise it, it will, yeah. But I don't want the hand to jump. I want the fingers to play. Put the thumb a little bit more here, so that you can go into this closing fifth. Yes, fingers, not that. Yes. Understand? I don't want this. I don't, I want this. Do it slower, do, do everything slower, just that you feel a little bit more control over your fingers. When it doesn't come. Yes. So when you're playing, like even this, you're playing with the three fingers, let's go to this for a second. But the, the, the movement is very big. I want it smaller and also a little bit more perpendicular to the string, the position. No, no, no. Like so. That's too much. So that you don't have that scratch. My thumb is short, the nail is short. For example, that that we, we have two te technical issues here. First, this baseline thing, and then from that it immediately goes into ar arpeggio thing. If you play everything with the, with the PMI up there, that gets it harder for for fingers to change. Can you play everything with a thumb when you start this? One? Because then your other fingers will be in that position. As a matter of fact, put these three on, the, on those strings. Now play me all all these all this previous line with these being anchored there, prepared for the chord. And they are there, ready to execute. 
rather than playing there, oh no, let me run there, right? Now, this, this, tra this, this transition, I want you to do this. Leave this. Once again. Control your, your thumb movement a little bit more. It's still a little bit like too, how would I say, you, you know when the boxers like train on that small mm -hmm. bag? Right? Yeah, yeah. It's it's not a kind of moment that it's like you know when you smack hard. It's it's controlled, so it's punching and returning both muscles, extensors and flexors work. You know, forward and backward. Not like ing, ing, ing. it's not like throwing it away. So control the thumb so that you can have a smaller. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Don't, don't go, I'm not doing the rest, I'm just doing this. No, no, no. Then we'll worry about the rest, just do this. Thumb has a way too big motion. Look at my thumb. I will exaggerate a little bit. You're doing this. That's it. Now, as you plug this, what's the next note you need after that? I move my index to the D. Okay, okay. And on the right hand, what, which, how do you plug? Yes. Um, okay. And M. M. P and A. A, P, A. Play me only that. Ta da! But look how we play. You play and the, the, the hand is flying away. Everything has to happen here, close, like this. Not, nothing like that. No way to nothing, just close. Look at your hand, do it again. That's it, now go back to this. Look at your hand, do not move it away, minimize your movement. As you pluck this, be ready to play this chord, this arpeggio, okay? As you're plucking it, envision where the thumb has to go. Go with that with your thought. Don't look at me, look at there. You're late with your left hand. You're, you're, you're buzzing, which means you're not plucking strongly enough. Here. This note is buzzing. Clear. Move the right hand a little bit more here, let's get a clear tone. Once again. Do it slower. Your thumb and this finger are not coordinated when the when the your first finger can lift sooner. How soon can it lift? Less sooner than I thought. You have two notes after you play that A. And you are lifting it after those two notes. You should lift it right the moment after you don't need it. Right on the third string. Bingo. That's it. Now play me the first four notes and lift the first. Just lift. Don't yank it away. Go towards D. Do it together. That's it. You hear it? Yeah. Ah, beautiful. Ah, great. So this is a way of you know resolving what's wrong, wh why it's not happening. Why is it not happening? Your hands have very, I feel it, like 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 very natural. They're not stiff. They're very flexible. Everything I want to do, I just tell you, you, you do it. The problem is not in the hands. The problem is in your mind. Your mind doesn't know what to do. So they are flapping all over the place like that. You know, so control them. Just sort of like an economy of motion in terms of playing. Now play me this whole <coughs> section from here, a little bit slower, being super conscious of the movements of your left hand and of your left and the left. Like tightness and where it has to be. Play it. I don't like that position. We said, yeah? 
Third, one. This once again. What, what I'm seeing is something else. I'll point to something else. Look where these fingers are before you play. Play. Stop. Look where they are. Press one note. Lift. Way too much. They started from this position. You press, they should come back to that same position. Instead, you press and you yank them away farther away from what they've started. Is that, you know, again, imagine the, the, the piano's hammers. They all hit and come back, pop, 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 come to that same point. It's not like hitting and going all the way down and they have to come back to the same position. Curve the fingers, don't extend them, once again. Stop, 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 slowly, slowly, not here, the thumb has to support, give me your hand. Make a circle. Squeeze. That's the support. That's the idea. Do that with each finger. With each finger. That's it. With each finger. So it's not this. It's not you press the, this thing up there and thumb is who you knows where. Look for that. That's it. Yes. Don't extend it. It looks better, doesn't it? Feels better. Yes. Run, 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 run. Don't stay here. No. <laughs> no, I need it now. Go. Oh, way too late, right? So you have all this. How many? One, no, two, just three. three. Yeah, so you go ahead. So you see, what I'm saying is there's, it's not a problem with your physical ability. It's a sort of like problem with um, the plan of motion. What to do, how to execute it. Like, you know, having a good coach and like every movement. No, it's too, too wide, it's too, uh, you know. So you have very moldable hands. So I, I think, you know, with sort of like, you know, Proper guidance, you can just put those things very, like, tune up, you know, very nicely together. Okay, let's get starting just a little bit in the, in, in, in the beginning. What I want to get, this ambient, this feel. So it's almost like, you know, almost like eerie, right? You know? It's very eerie, yeah. There, there, there's, a, there's a, like a band, and I think like it's called like a fireplace in down the road. There is it, you know. And we were just walking, my wife and I, you know, and on the, on, on the window there's this like mannequin with the, the, the jewels, and, and she'll go, ah, got scared. It's that eerie, like, you know. <laughs> so imagine, this is like just the a, 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 a dust, you know, and you are slowly going there and ringing the bell. <laughs> <laughs> I, want to, I want to feel that ambient. That's that's what I'm going to talking about, you know, content of the story. So I'm gonna hit that th third string with the thumb. Don't fly away. Keep it steady there. There you are. Playing one too many. Uh, lift up, lift up the, the first finger. You don't need the first finger now. Then. That's it. That's it. Elevate the wrist. It's going to give you a little bit more accuracy. Clear to. That's it. So, you see, the music rests on those technical pillars that will support it. Any of the elements in the playing that will not support the music, the music will fall through it. There will be gaps and holes. Right? So, a lot of technique is required, lots of exercises, lots of studies to get that. As I said, your fingers are able to do that. On top, then, then you go with the music. Alright? So, I just need to learn to control them better, that's all. Um, well, resuming into a very simplistic way, yes. You would say that that's all what, what we want. I mean, that's what I'm practicing all the time as well in terms of technique. I want to control them more. 
but there are you know many 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 steps that you have to break into to know exactly what what is the control about right alignment and so on so I'll I'll, I'll demonstrate it I'll show you. good thank, thank you. you.